Circuit Judge. I would like to read you a brief section of a declaration of faith because it talks about the kingdom to come. In this declaration of faith, we read, um, in Christ, God gave us a glimpse of the new creation that has already begun and will surely be finished. We do not know when the final day will come. In our time, we see only broken and scattered signs that the renewal of things is underway. We do not yet see the end of cruelty and suffering in the world, in the church, or in our own lives. But we see Jesus as Lord, as he stands, as Jesus stands at the center of our history, we are confident that he will stand at its end. He will judge all people and nations. Evil will be condemned and rooted out of God's good creation. There will be no more tears or pain, and all things will be made new. The fellowship of human beings with God and with each other will be perfected. And so as we go through our days and our weeks and we struggle in the places where maybe there has been um, like really bad news or maybe there has been tension in some of our relationships or there has been brokenness that we so wish that we could fix. Even as we are doing our part to do what we can and that is so important to do what we can, our constant prayer always is that God will multiply what we are doing in the here and now and that we hope and look forward with trust and in hope for the kingdom to come. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Amen.
seated. On the night that Jesus was arrested, as he sat with his disciples at the table, he blessed a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread made with wheat. The wheat that the harvesters had harvested that was free of the weeds. And as he blessed it and broke it and shared it with his disciples, he said to them, this is my body broken for you. He told them, do this and remember me. And when the meal was ended and they shared wine, he blessed the wine as well. And he said, this is the cup of the new and everlasting covenant shed for the remission of sins given in my name. Whenever you drink this, do this in remembrance of me. We are told that when we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we declare Jesus dead, Jesus has risen, and Jesus will come again. These are the gifts of God given for the people of God that we might be one with Christ. Come, the meal is ready.
response for this week is, I will say, Lord, all creation is groaning. And please join me by saying, we pray for your kingdom to come. Gracious creator, sower of life, you know the complicated histories that have carried us to this moment. You know the names of all our generations, for you are there in each story of falling away and turning home. In our long years of wanderings and in our shining moments, we recognize your presence and find the grace to worship you. Lord, all creation is groaning. You, Lord, are no stranger to the striving or the listlessness of humanity. All creation is groaning, and so we dare to ask that you would come to us to be born again in this place. In the midst of our boredom, our self-congratulations, our limited vision, startle us with the tearing and the crying and the first breath of life that will not be restrained. Strengthen us with the fruits of your spirit. We pray, Lord, all creation is groaning. We pray for your kingdom to come. We pray for all who flee from pasts by which they are haunted. We lift up all who feel abandoned by a future for which they had hoped. We plead for all who do not know that they are loved and chosen. We intercede for our own divided souls. Lord, all creation is groaning. Help us trust that you are at work in every mingled heart, every conflicted community. Nourish the life you plant within us that we might keep the keep seeding the world with your truth and your grace lord all the world is groaning lord we pray for those in our community who have needs and whose bodies are feeling or whose bodies need healing we pray for your loving presence and your healing touch and your saving grace. We pray for the needs of our hearts which we carry with us and which we name now in silence. Lord, all creation is groaning. We pray for your kingdom to come. We bind these and all our prayers in the Lord in the prayer the Lord taught us, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As adopted children of God, we are called to seek the well-being of all humanity, which is our human family. Let us, as we are able, to offer our resources to help support the needs of God's creation.
Please join me in the responsive prayer of dedication. God of extravagant mercy. Goodness and beauty and bounty. Trivial and wretched and tyrannical. And, and thus may we and others. Amen. in our lives when we're feeling a little bit more like a weed than the wheat. And if you are in a place in your life where you feel a little weed-like, know that you can turn to the Lord and the Lord will always, Jesus Christ, is always there as our saving grace. We can, as a major life decision or at a moment of needing renewal, to turn to the Lord and surrender all the burdens that we carry, all the suffering that we feel, and all the injustice at which we are angry. And God will hold that, and Jesus will love that, and Jesus will work in our lives to heal and restore and to save us. This is the promise of the gospel. Although some in this world indulge in illicit trafficking, the triune God still traffics in mercy. However dark the night gets, whatever you have misused, neglected, or squandered, know that you are held by a love like this. The creator who made you still claims you in covenant love. The redeemer who died for your sake lives again by the word of God and the sustainer of all creation breathes courage into your heart. Go and serve then with boldness and in joy, and may the peace of God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore through all eternity.
Amen.